In today's video, we are going to talk about Kubuntu 22.04 LTS, awesome new looks and features. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as Ubuntu 22.04 just got released, Kubuntu 22.04 LTS has also got released. So now let's see what do we have in terms of its new features and look. Well, if we say that it is the most Ubuntu based Linux distribution, it wouldn't be wrong because Kubuntu is based on Ubuntu and the underlying structure is same just like Ubuntu. Linux kernel of Kubuntu is 5.15 LTS, which powers your Kubuntu 22.04 LTS, just like Ubuntu base. So for that purpose, first of all, I'll open my console or terminal, but as we are using Kubuntu, here it is named as console. And to check the version of my kernel, I will write here, uname hyphen R, hit enter. So as you can see, we are using 5.15 version of our kernel and with the help of that one a lot of background processes and a lot of improvement will be done and will be added in this kubuntu 22.04 lts version kubuntu also gets kde plasma 5.24 update which is the current lts version of the plasma desktop other than that the kde plasma 5.24.x series is the 26th edition of KDE Plasma desktop and it will bring some stunning features such as overview effect, new notification etc. Like you will have all the notifications in here. Other than that, we'll have many new things with the help of this latest KDE Plasma. Now I'll talk about genome like overview. You might be surprised to know that what does genome has to do with Kubuntu as Kubuntu uses KDE. Well, with KDE Plasma 5.24, we get the ability to use a feature that are similar to Genome's activity overview. We can browse through our virtual desktop and windows at a glance with its help. For example, if I just press my super plus W key, here you can see I have my desktop one and I can add one more. And in here, I will have all those applications that I have opened. And with the help of KDE Plasma 4.24, some updates have also been done in terms of our software center, or you can say discover as we are using Kubuntu. So I will just search for my discover. Here it is, or we have also docked it in here. So this is how the software center looks like now. They have revamped it, or if I say they have updated its user interface, it wouldn't be wrong. Now we have more sophisticated colors and arrangement in a better way. And one major thing is that now Software Center has received some upgrades. And one of the main one is that it will prevent removing anything that is critical to your system's operation. So in case if accidentally you remove something that is very critical to your system, it will ask you before doing it and it will prevent you to doing so. So that was all about the software center or discover. And now I'll talk about its interface. Well, this is the default wallpaper or background that we get with Kubuntu 22.04 and arrangement of everything is just same, just like its previous version. Like we have some of the applications docked at the bottom left corner. Then we have some utilities at the bottom right corner. And now let's go and see what do we have in terms of settings or if there any change. I will right click on my desktop and I'll go to my configure desktop and wallpapers. Basically, it will open the settings. Other than that, you can also go from here. So here we have a lot of things that we can perform with respect to our Kubuntu 22.04, just like its previous version. We have dark theme that will get applied on the whole system. It means it will also get applied onto your applications if they support dark theme as well. I will just click on apply and dark theme has been applied. And now let's go to our appearance. And here we have different themes that we can apply as KDE Plasma onto our Kubuntu. Then here we have different things that we can do. Like we have application style, we have Plasma style, 
we can do different things with respect to our fonts and we have many more things in here i will just get out of this well as our kubuntu is based on ubuntu we'll have more or less same features and we'll have more or less same underlying structure for whole of our system let's go about this system section and let's see what do we have in here well as we have mentioned earlier we have kde plasma version 5.24 and the system is kubuntu 22.04 and we have some other information and now let's see what is the version of grub in our kubuntu for that purpose again i will open my console or my terminal here it is so here i will write grub hyphen install space hyphen hyphen version and now if i hit just enter well the grub version is 2.06 it is just like the one in the ubuntu 22.04 so it is the latest one and because of that we'll also expecting some of the major improvement in terms of background processes now let's see how much resources this new version of kubuntu is using for that i will write here top hit enter well this new version of kubuntu is using around 980 megabyte of my ram and these are different processes and each process is using pretty much hardware resources at the moment but overall i cannot say that it is very high or very low i would say it is pretty average in terms of hardware resource usage and just like its previous version you will need to have same amount of hardware resources like 4 gigabytes of ram and 20 gigabytes of hard disk space in order to have smoother experience onto your system at the end i'll talk about one very important feature that have been included in kubuntu 22.04 lts and that is now we have fingerprint support it means with kde plasma 5.24 it has finally added the support for your fingerprint authentication and now you can conveniently add up to 10 different fingerprints and use them to unlock or authenticate something into your kubuntu 22.04 so that's a really good improvement and a big achievement. So that was all about the prominent features and a brief review of Kubuntu 22.04 LTS. And I hope now that now you have an idea that what you are going to get if you install this Linux distribution onto your machine. So if you have loved watching this video, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.